What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, today, I've got a new toy uh, I've been playing with for a few days now, and it is the Hinge 2 released by Ultraview. Uh, I want to just start off by saying that uh, this kind of overview slash review video on this, on this Hinge, uh, I did not have the original version, so I'm not going to be doing any comparisons from this one to the original one. On the contrary, kind of just giving a, a first take and... Um, I get opinions as to my thoughts on this release, obviously compared to something that's old faithful, right? This, this thing's been on the market forever. And um, so first things first, I guess the, the release, they actually send you, you know, this, uh, this kind of demo, this, I, I believe it's for sizing, just to verify that you've got the right size. So again, I, I, got, I went with the medium and this is just the standard aluminum version. I did not get the hunting bracket again. I wanted to give this release a, a once-over, um, put it through the paces, and, and see if it's something I liked. I don't usually use a lanyard when I'm hunting with the release, so I didn't grab the bracket for this yet. I wanted to see if I liked it or not. Secondly, um, some of the different, and, the, and even with the heavier model, I didn't, I didn't know, you know if it was something that I was going to want to stick with. So started off, it's still not cheap. But in the package, it comes with an Allen wrench that you can use to, to make some adjustments. And, it, you know, pretty nice packaging, um, but enough with that. So, some of the biggest takeaways that I'm going to tell you so far is the width of the release, I do like it. It, it, it feels comfortable. Some of the releases that are more narrow in my hand feel like they um, pivot a little bit more side, or there's some variation there that I can do without. This style that has a little bit wider platform, I really like that. The medium is like perfect to, I couldn't go any smaller on my hands. I don't have great big fingers, but I don't have small hands either, but it fits really well. Comfortable release. Uh, different than some of the other re releases, again, that I've shot. This does not have a barrel or any kind of a post when you're drawing back. I know that on the hunting bracket, it comes with a, a, pl a place where you can put your thumb to help assist on the drawback. But I'm just drawing back on this one, just holding on this bracket that, that kind of comes off the top there. So it, it was still comfortable, didn't have any issues with that. They do, uh, this one of the new features is that there is a magnet design that locks the actual head back in place regardless. The thing it does not do is the hook itself that hooks on your D-loop does not auto lock. Okay, so sometimes on the shot, you'll have the actual overall head come back and attach again with the magnet, but the, the hook itself that hooks to your uh, your D-loop does not lock back in place like something with the rubber, a rubber band style that does, right? So this head floats, but the hook is always engaged. So that's where, nice feature with, uh, with the magnet. However, again, the hook itself is, you know, still isn't self-engaging. Um, other than that, I'm going to say that having shot this release probably, I don't know, 60, 70 arrows now, maybe 80 arrows, I guess, this release feels comfortable um, again I do like the features that have I have no issues with the barrel the adjustability on this is really really nice I'm not gonna t I'm not gonna go into the details as far as you know how to do what uh, Chris put Chris B on 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 their page they did a, on his page I said did a really good job of just explaining the settings on here I don't shoot a click so when I shoot uh, any release I usually set it um, without the click and in this one what I did is again using the release trainer I just went through and, and worked it with the click first, and I, and I adjusted position on the two uh, uh, moons there and, and got it to where it was without the click. It took me about two small incremental adjustments to get it to where it was firing consistently for me. So I do like that. My only personal gripe on any release, and this is a personal, this is a preference thing. This is, has nothing to do with this. However, being that they have a removable third finger, I really like the swept back design of, of a release, and this is not. This is more of a standard uh, handle where there is no, not much of a swept portion, slightly. I would like to see this finger, this third finger, adjustable to where you can get it a little bit more swept back or swept down if you'd like, or make it adjustable. That would be perfect in my opinion. Otherwise, it's a nice release. It's just for me, based off how I'm used to anchoring and shooting, I'll show you in the video, my, my third finger is quite a bit further back than my middle finger. And with a release like this, 
it almost makes your two fingers stacked on top of each other as you're rotating. So for me, it just makes me feel like my hand is really pushed forward. And that's after years of shooting a swept back handle. So in comparison, um, like I said, that, that's just from, from one handle to the other. That's the kind of the comparison from there. But as far as this release goes, it, it's smooth. It's really nice. I do like the feel of it. I, I, I'm not a huge, I don't you have a, a ton of heavy releases, the brass um, style releases. So I'm not sure that I would personally go with that one. But this adjustability is is money in, in my opinion some of the newer releases on the market have similar adjustability of the micro adjust so that in itself i would say is worth it if you like a standard handle um, going to that extra hunting bracket i mean this release gets to be where it's probably one of the more expensive ones on the market um, but again if it, you know if it's if it fits you and, and you like the adjustability and the style then then great it's, it's a really nice release so anyway kind of first first thoughts if you will um, some of the design features, I can wish it had a touch more adjustability on that pinky. Um, I wish that the actual head itself locked, you know, like I said, that the head locks, excuse me, the hook that, the, that hooks on the on the D-loop. I wish that locked as that doesn't auto lock. But once it's in there, it stays there, right? So that being said, really nice release. Not sure if I'm going to change away from Old Faithful based off of the finger design. That's probably it. Other than that, I would probably stick to this release. So if you're considering uh, the price tag doesn't scare you, I'd say go for it. It's a really nice release. Other than that, appreciate you checking us out. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you've tried out the new Hinge 2 yet from UltraView. Uh, what are your thoughts? What are your takeaways? And, um, you know, if there's something that, that, that you're seeing differently, you know, that, that maybe you had any issues with. I'm just curious because, like I said, I'm, I'm new to this. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget, if you're liking the content, make sure you like and subscribe, and we will see you guys soon. This show is brought to you by ArcheryAuctionPros.com. If you're in the market for a new bow, but don't want to spend that steep price tag that some of these new bows are demanding, consider a used bow, gently used bow, with an evaluation certificate. Every bow sold on ArcheryAuctionPros.com is evaluated by No Limits Archery, and is going to give you a true representation of the condition of the, the bow you're looking at. So head on over. We've got bows that go up every week for auction. Once again, archeryauctionpros.com.